Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from Revolution. Technically, this box is from Superdrug. Um, but all the products in here at Revolution, I had made two orders, one from Superdrug and one from Revolution because I originally made the order on Superdrug because most of what I wanted was in stock. Um, and I figured I might as well get the points because there's no offer on, on Revolution. But then some of the stuff I wanted that I'd, I'd had like put down on the email list for to get notification was back in stock came back in stock so I nabbed them very quickly. I literally ordered this um, Revolution stuff after the super drug stuff, like the day after. So let's get on to the video but before we start, if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoy my content um, and would like to see more. Okay, let's get on with the haul. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Halloween stuff. Um, there was a lot of Halloween stuff that I did like. Um, I did like two of the palettes. Um, one of the Obsession palettes I really liked. Um, it was like the Unicorn one, I think. And then the Revolution one, which is also like a peppy pink packaging. I did kind of like both of them, mostly the Obsession one, but I thought the colours don't really wow me that much. I've got colours very similar, so I decided against it. Um, okay, I've just realised one of these has the packaging on. I've taken the packaging off, like, all of this, aside from this, apparently. I will also be doing swatches as I go. So, I got three of the lipsticks. There are five, I believe. Um, I don't know what all the colours are. But there's, like, a bright red one and a more... Wait, is them? Wait, maybe there's only four. There might only be four. Um, I know definitely there's a, like a, a normal bright red one um, as well, but I got Sinister Seduction, which is um, a nude, so I'm going to swatch that on the back of my hand for you. I've not swatched these yet, so if it's kind of weird, it's because it's curved and my hand obviously isn't, so it's a very fat um, swatch there, but that colour is very nice. So yes, that's Sinister Seduction, a very nice pinky peachy nude. Then we've got Corpse Bride, which is kind of like a purpley dark nude type of situation. Okay, this watch is terrible again, it's curved and my hand isn't. Um, so that one is Corpse Bride. See what it means, kind of like a purpley dark nude but it's, it's very wearable it's very nice and then we have vampires thirst love that i'm going through a very weird vampire phase right now and by that i just mean i really want to watch vampire diaries for the third time this year and i'm really stopping myself so to do that i'm instead reading the house of night series and um, i read the majority of the books a few years ago um but i didn't i hadn't completed the full series so i'm really reading them because now i've got all the books Anyway, this one is Vampire's Thirst. Yeah. So it's like, in the bullet, it looks like it's really dark, but it's not. It's a lot more kind of like, um, kind of like a purple toned red, but again, very wearable, all three of them. Very lovely colours. Okay. Next, and very excitingly, I got one of the skull shaped liquid highlighter drops. Um, I haven't got any of the other, like their normal drops that look a lot like the cover effects ones. Um, but when I saw this was in like a little skull shape bottle, I had to. They have three other shades. So this one is paranormal. So this one is just like a champagne gold colour. They've also got one with like with like a pink shimmer, a green shimmer, and then a bright red one, um, which looks very cool. But I have no use for it really, and I haven't got the money to just waste on it. Um, but let's look it's got a little cute little drop I'm just gonna put like a little bit on in my hand and show you what it looks like so it's really pretty really wearable color very good for paler skin tones I thought I'd go for the more wearable out of the colors because well green highlight I'm not all about but saying that I didn't realize this but I also got the haunted lights highlighter this is quite green toned. I didn't look it um, online. Um, I don't know how it's going to come up, 
on camera. It might just look white, to be honest, on camera. Um, but if I give you a swatch, I'm hoping the green is coming off on camera, or coming up on camera. But it's a bit of a green. Um, I'd say it's it's still a more wearable green. It's not like really like in your face green. And it doesn't look in your face green, the pan. It's more that it's like a shift between a gold and a green type situation. But again, I liked it because it was a skull on it. I like my skulls. BLB. Okay, I'm back. Next onto the, what I would think is the most exciting highlighter. Like this is packaging wise the most exciting, but this one is the most exciting. So this is the rainbow highlighter. Um, this, I really want the um, Too Faced Diamond highlight, which is kind of like all the rainbow swirls in it. Um, and this is very similar. So the diamond one, when you swatch it, it's not like very colourful. And the same, you could use like each individual highlighter and it'll be like a colour. Like um, if I just swatch this blue bit, it's like a blue highlighter. I don't know how well it's coming up. But if I swatch the whole thing, it's a lot more of a normal colour. It's slightly more blue purpley there. I think I got a fair amount of purple, but um, yeah, it looks very nice and it's very good for very pale skin tones. But again, you could use each individual colour um, either as eyeshadow or as a highlight if you want a specific colour. I think it's, I think it's a very good little little highlight. It was only four pounds, I think. Okay, so next I got the Renaissance Flick Liner. I have heard a lot of good stuff about this liner and even Tati Westbrook likes this. And she does not like a lot of Revolution products. Um, I love the packaging on this. Even my mum said it looks really nice. It's just very sleek and like luxury looking. It's not heavy in the slightest. It's not, it doesn't feel luxury like that. Um, but yeah, so let's do this with my wrong hand. And I've also got... I've not got it all of my finger. Um, yeah, it's very black and it doesn't, um, what's one thing, it doesn't bleed either, which is, of course, very good. I've got black all over me and I don't even know how. Like, I've got it there. I'm going to have to sort myself out now, again. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's very black and it doesn't bleed at all, so that is good. Um... For some reason I got it all over me though when I opened it there, which is not great. It might just be how I took off the lid, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. I've heard very good things about it. Okay, the last two things are eyeshadow palettes. So I got the uh, Reloaded Velvet Rose and Reloaded Iconic Division. I have a hair on my lip. That is not mine, it is Alfie's. There we go. Okay, so these palettes are dupes of the Soft Glam by Anastasia and the Subculture by Anastasia, which is why I wanted to get them, because I really want to try both those palettes, mostly the Soft Glam, but also the Subculture. I want to try, like, all of them. I'm not so bothered about Prism, but Novena, I love a lot. Um, I say like, I love the colour story. I don't have it. I don't have any, I don't have any Anastasia products, but anyway. So, um, I mostly wanted to get um, the Iconic Division palette, which I'm going to open up so that you've got no glare, um, because I'm not someone who does cool toned looks very often, um, but I would like to experiment. And I figure because both these palettes were £4 each, um, it was a good way to try it out. And this light shimmery green, it's actually very pretty. Um, yeah, colour story wise, very similar to the um, Subculture palette. Uh, it's got like a red and it's got them oranges and them khaki greens and it's only got like two shimmers in which is this like bronzy colour and the green. Um, the white I wouldn't say it's not like a shimmer but it's not fully matte I don't think. Um, so I'm going to swatch a couple of these shades for you. I'm going sw to swatch both the shimmers. Um, I'm going to swatch, I'm just going to show you which one to swatch, so I've done both these shimmers. I'm also going to swatch this like mustard yellow 
and this orange and possibly that dark brown in the corner. These obviously don't have shade names so I can't tell you what they're called, I just have to point to you to them. Um, okay, I'm going for the dark brown in the bottom right corner. Ooh, that dark brown is very nicely pigmented, okay. So you've got the two shimmers at the top there, there's the green, I don't know how well it's going to fit my camera, I can't see it very well, um, but it's very delicate. That like bronzy colour is very nice, the mustard yellow, the like more of a bright orange and the darkest brown in there. There's also like, I can't tell if that's a black or a very dark green. Um, what finger can I use to kind of find out? I just want to show you how easy it is for that black liner to come off. So with like a couple swipes, it's gone. So it's very easy to take off. Um, I'm going to show you them swatches again so you don't forget. And let's find out if this is a black or a dark green. Okay, yeah, this is a black for sure and it is rather pigmented. That's very nice. Very happy with that black. Okay, so obviously the next one is the Velvet Rose, which looks, of course, like the... Well, it's not the newest anymore, but like Soft Lamp, fairly new. Um, this one, like, between the two, I'm most looking forward to this one because it... No, hang on. I'm looking forward to both of them fairly equally. I'm looking forward to this one because these colours just scream to me. Like, this is just, like my kind of colours. I love every colour in here. They're all gorgeous and exactly just what I want in an eyeshadow palette. But these ones I'm excited to play with so I'm really looking forward to using this because it's getting me out of my comfort zone with makeup and I've got an idea already for an eye look what I want to do with that. Um, but I think I'm looking forward to this one more because my god these colours just scream to me. Um, okay so I'm going to check this way. You've got like some nice reds, you've got two oranges, you've got like a little rose goldy colour here, you've got a black but that looks like it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, similar to the white in the other palette. Um, that's more of a cream than a white. You've got a very nice, very, it's more of a foil I'm going to say, I'm, I'm guessing just based off the textures of the rest of the shimmers. That's a foil but it's the only one in there like that. Um, You've got a lovely maroony red here, uh, a nice medium to dark brown, a lighter brown. You've got some good colours. You've got two different golds. Like, so yes, that's definitely like a shimmer. That one must be a foil. This pink looks very exciting. And like I said, there's like more. It's still like a gold, but it's like more of a rose gold than a gold, like a yellow gold. Um. Okay, so I'm going to swatch... Um, all five of the shimmers first for you. Oh my god, that pink. It's just so creamy. It went on amazingly. Okay, so these two are from the top row. These are from the middle row. And that one is from the bottom row. So that is the the top one. Yeah, that is like the more foiled looking um, gold. That is the more yellow gold. There's the pink, there's the like brown and then there's the rose gold. I will say the pink and the brown are a lot more creamy than the others. They went on a lot easier than the others and I think you can tell that they're a lot more pigmented. I can see in the viewfinder. You can see these very easily. I've also left little marks on the side of my hand here. Um, the ones that are struggling a little bit are, well maybe the rose gold's not. I think it's just lighter colour. But that second gold, um, this one here, that one's struggling a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but that pink is just amazing. Look at that. Now I'm going to go in with more exciting mattes. I'm not going to swatch every colour. Um, so I am going to swatch that colour. I think maybe like the darker orange, this brown, and maybe this red. So these four. Oh, and the black. I have to say, as I'm like, because I'm just rubbing it to distribute the colour, that first one has just gone on and blended into itself. So amazing. Like, that's not patchy at all. Same, well, honestly, for the rest of the colours, they're not patchy. They're like blending out. 
really nicely and that black oh so we've got obviously that dark maroony color the darker orange the terracotta type color the darkest brown and the black again i've just put little marks on my hand um yeah they have blended out so smoothly so nicely um so that just kind of shows how nice they might be on the eye obviously we don't know fingers crossed that they're going to be nice on um yeah i'm gonna go wash my hands again very quickly okay so it's simply that so far i'm very impressed with these palettes it's making me really want to try the purple one and the two red ones honestly they're also on my wish list but of course i won't know until i've tried them um i will be doing a video testing out these products i'll probably do this palette with the rest of the stuff and this one separately because i have a like a certain look i kind of want to do with this um, this one might come first, I'm not going to lie, just depending on timing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Let me know in the comments what you think of the stuff. If you've tried anything from Revolution that I've got here, or if there's anything you recommend from Revolution, I'm always looking for more Revolution stuff. I've got a wish list that's like £300 long. So yeah. Um, okay. That's it for this video. I will see you next time. Bye!